Christians will continue to wrestle with sin. Christians will continue to struggle with sin. But Christians are no longer slaves to sin. And Christians will be tempted and prodded and poked and bugged by the enemy. We will at times be oppressed by the enemy. There is such a thing for the Christian as spiritual attack. But the Christian can no longer be enslaved or fully taken captive by the enemy. So the Christian sins, but he is not a slave to sin. And the Christian is tempted and oppressed in varying degrees at varying times in varying ways by Satan, but he is not a child of Satan. He is not held fully captive by Satan. There is freedom from Satan and freedom from sin. The three Ps when it comes to sin, the easiest way to remember this. Christ has fully, uh, fully broken or fully paid for the penalty of sin. That's done. If you are a Christian, the penalty of sin has been fully paid for by Christ on your behalf. So the penalty of sin is atoned for. It's done. It's paid. It's finished. The power of sin is broken. If you are a Christian born again, you are not a slave to sin. However, in this life, not forever, but in this life, the presence of sin remains. So for the Christian, penalty of sin, done. Power of sin, broken. Presence of sin, ongoing in this life only. But First John also elsewhere says this, when we see him, we will be like him, for we shall see him as he is. What John is referring to is that final day, when this life comes to a close, when we stand before Christ, when we see him, we shall be like him, not like him in every regard. He's God. Even in heaven for eternity, we will only ever still be creatures. Glorified creatures, yes, but creatures nonetheless. We will not be like him in, his, um, in, in the fact of his omniscience, in the fact that he is infinite, in the fact that he is uh, God, deity, but we will be like him in what regard? What is John specifically referencing? When we see him, we'll be like him, meaning we will be like him in regard to his sinlessness, that we will be pure, purified, that the presence, not only is the power of sin broken, that's done even now if you're in Christ, but on that day when we see him, when we stand before him in the life to come, not only is the power of sin broken, that's broken now, but the presence of sin will be done away with.